Row, row, row your boat. It's an English language nursery rhyme and a popular children's song of American origin, often sung in a round. It has a round folk song index number 19236 for those of you who are looking for it. The earliest printing of the song is from about 1852 when the lyrics were published with similar lyrics to those used today, but with a different tune. It was reprinted again two years later with the same lyrics and another tune. The modern tune was first recorded with the lyrics in 1881, mentioning Eliphalat Orum Light as the Franklin Square song collection, but not making it clear whether he was the composer or adapter. Legacy in and such for the song, the nursery rhyme is well known, appearing in several films, including Star Trek V, Turbo, the Power Rangers movie, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and Manos, the Hands of Fate. Even to such that Bing Crosby included the song in a melody on his album 101 Gang Songs in 1961. Crosby also used the song as a part of a round with his family, as captured in the album Bing Crosby, live at the London Palladinium, and Amy Mann included a brief interpretation of her song Choice of the Matter. People often add verses, uh, a form of children's street culture, in the intent of either extending the song, or especially in, in this case of more irrelevant versions, to make it funny, a parody yet, or substitute another sensibility for the perceived innocent one of the original. Nice. Done music, a Muppet character in Sesame Street, changed the lyrics to feature a car instead of a boat. But before you go any further, this isn't not just a post about rude, lewd, or inappropriate manhandling of a nursery rhyme. It's disappointing, I know. Uh, at a singing session at the Big Green Bookshop at Wood Green, several new verses of Row, Row Your Boat were sung. You don't need to be a Lennon songwriter skills to, or such to adopt this ditty, but... Be pleased nonetheless. A lot of people love this song, and I get bored with the four verses we already know. So I'm going to go through some of these and, uh, you know, and let you know. Uh, I may do a couple of repetitive ones, but generally I'm just speaking this. I'm not singing it. So row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is about a dream. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the stream, if you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Row, row, row your boat, gently down the river. If you see a polar bear, don't forget to shiver. Row, row, row your boat, gently to the shore. If you see a lion, don't forget to roar. Now this is where some of the verses that have been changed, even some maybe when you were a child that you sung instead. So I'll, I won't say the row row part, but I'll do the other three lines for each one of these. Across the reservoir, if you see a pirate, stop and say, O-R, or R. <laughs> Should be R, but uh, I guess it's just this uh, next one. All across the puddle, if you see your mummy there, give her a lovely cuddle. Gently down the creek, if you see the little mouse, don't forget to squeak. In your bubble bath, if you see a spider, don't forget to laugh. Gently to the beach, if you see a dinosaur, don't forget to screech. Gently to and fro, this way, that way, over the sea we go. Gently up the brook, if you catch a little fish, let it off the hook. Out into the bay, if you see a pirate ship, sail the other way. Um, that one we've seen again. Underneath the stream, haha, fooled you. 
on the submarine. Uh, we said that one gently around the bath. If you see a large giraffe, don't forget to laugh. Gently down the river. If you see the polar bear, don't forget to shiver. I mentioned that one. Um, gently down the stream. Throw your teacher overboard and listen to her scream. Ah! Which is one that we always added when I was a kid. Gently down the stream. Try to make it back to shore before your boat sinks. Okay, that one didn't quite rhyme, but gently down the creek. If your boat fills with water, then you've got a leak. Those were the general things of uh, how this all came about and what people thought about it. But was there actually a bit of a darker side to it? Hmm. Now, the song slash nursery rhyme has been interpreted as something else. So a bit of to the darker side of what it could really mean, yet though it's not really dark, that row, row your boat is basically about your life. So you row, row your boat gently down the stream, going along about your life, going forward, but do it gently because you need to stop, look at the scenery, see what's around you, enjoy life, not go super fast and then, you know, let the current take you downstream. Merrily, 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 life's about a dream is that you're dreaming along your way, uh, or at least you should be in a certain sense of way. But if you're not careful, that maybe life will go by too fast. You could capsize your boat. There could be other things that would take your life along the way because you're not paying attention. So basically, it's kind of saying the dark side is you could die before you know it. So stop and smell the roses type thing. That's the dark side of Row Row Your <laughs> 